This is the Sheraton Hotel, Italian restaurant. <coughs> this has been caused by oil and polish buildup. Very, very black. This should be a red colour, like on the edges you see. Okay, Pierre, you alright yes, with that? Yes, yes, we're getting our stuff ready. All the stuff. Okay, just need a beaker, we can get cracking on testing. You're gonna say something? I thought you'd say something. I would, of course, say something. Where are we? Yeah, we are, yeah, we are yeah, getting ready to get our products out. Uh, first day working today, we arrived yesterday, and then I have to open the crate uh, to get the stuff out. Uh, the crate is too big to be taken down to uh, the restaurant where we'll be cleaning, so we have to take the products out one by one. Yeah. And there's a trolley there too. You should be on TV. This is the way to do it. <laughs> get on TV. That's the way to do it. <laughs> We're getting a little bit aggressive to uh, get this stuff out. I think I'll stand back a bit. We've just uh, been uh, sort of interrogated uh, up at the restaurant asking the procedure and they would like our schedule for the, for the work over the next few days. Uh, very keen to get the work done, it's quite clear. Um, we had about a group of eight people interviewing us down up there at the restaurant, so that's why we're down here getting the stuff ready and ready to make a start. On behalf of Sheikh Mohammed. Sheikh Mohammed, yes, the owner of the hotel. I see. Right, here we go. Uh, now this bit went black about 12 years ago. Now you can see how much it's... Yeah, look at that. Have another go doing that? I'll do that again. Okay, it's great. See how thick that is? This went black about 12 years ago, as I was saying, because um, when the Italian tailors laid it, they did a great job of laying it. Uh, but like we found with a lot of Italian companies, they don't know how to seal. And they put the wrong sealer on, we think, because it went black within three days, which is very unusual. Usually it takes a long time to go, before it goes to this state. So anyway, we're getting a good result. We've had the general manager down from Sheraton Hotels. He's very impressed so far. Uh, there's a lot of work yet to do, but... Uh, it's come up, we're, uh, we're quite pleased with our work so far. I'll, uh, over Action! Okay, this is the uh, terracotta floor, stage two, next day. Uh, we've just put some, we pre wetted the floor first, because terracotta is very, very porous. So if we've gone straight with the removable nano clean, I think it'll be patchy. Uh, I know a lot of you guys, you towel doctors out there, have this problem. Uh, and I always tell you, pre wet terracotta, or pre wet, very porous towel first, very important uh, to pre wet it. Uh, so we've done that, pre wet the backs off the excess, and then we put the removable nano clean on. Now, as you can see, if you look at the floor, the old black is off. We have a secondary problem, which luckily we've anticipated, and that is um, there's a white solution in there, which we believe is oil, because we know the, the Italians, when they put it down, they, they oiled it. Um, and we did a test yesterday with removing the nano clean for about an hour in the interior, and that came off, that was very successful, so we're doing the whole floor today. Uh, only thing is, even with the nano clean, we're fine because the, the, the humidity is drying out, so I'm putting more removal and go on, just so it doesn't dry out. Uh, and uh, after about an hour or so, maybe a bit longer, we're going to get some brushes, no scrubbing machine, we're not using a scrubbing machine, because with the removal to go on the, on the skirt boards, and it will take the paint off. So we're just going to go in gently with the brushes at first, get rid of the thick and just water, the wax machine that off, and then once I've got the thick of the removal nano clean off, we'll, we'll then go with the buff, buff machine, the black buffing pad, uh, lots of water, and then we'll rinse it off so we've got rid of all the white solution. Uh, like we did yesterday in the small tester. And um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have a result and we can start. Okay, Pierre, let's see what difference you can make on here. You see the black on the phone, how dark it is. Yeah, you see a big difference there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's just the right, the right dwell time, I think, the right strength profile, just the job. You can see the black layer. This is what it looks like before. There, next to your foot, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's really black. That would need more cleaning. 
Yeah. It's just all about dwell time and strength of focal. Yeah. Pierre's got a lot of video diary going on here. Yeah, <laughs> well, the roster has to so to catch up. I'm going to have to catch up, yeah. <laughs> you can see here we're just getting rid of the white stuff on the floor. There we go, you can just see it there. It's the old sealer. That's what's given so much free. You just see it there. You just put a bit of water in there. There we go. All the black stuff, a little bit of white. Just try to keep working with the white to it's off. Here we go. Just started sealing that far corner. Now we've had six coats on. I need another three coats to finish it, but I might go up to 12. Depends uh, after uh, I've done some water testing. Uh, but this is all done. This is all ready for sealing. Up to here, that's where we put the barricade across. Using uh, what seal have we been using? Seal and go. And we've got to do finish off this section. It's not quite ready yet. There's a lot of uh, detail work in the uh, darker areas. You've got little white bits there. You need to get that off. It's quite a lot of white bits. That's the old sealer. And then that's the outer courtyard, as they call it. And then the inner courtyard. Pierre's been working really hard on this bit. It's really bad, this bit. It's really black. R worst bit we've ever done. So I give that to Pierre because I got fed up with it. <laughs> there we go. That's the entrance. Go. Uh, take two. This is a cylinder. Uh, like I said, we use this one a lot, all the time, basically, for terracotta towels. Terracotta towels are very soft. Uh, mostly, you do get so much, you're much tougher. This one is much tougher, we found. It's very hard and um, it's not the, not the exception that we usually found with terracotta. Uh, but it is taking the sealer quite well. And we've got up to 12 coats. As you can see, I'm just putting it on here, like so, with a paint pad. I always use a paint pad for terracotta and, uh, you know, these sort of tiles. You can just glide across quite quickly. And when you've got 12 coats of sealer to put on, um, to reach what I call FSC, which is full saturation completion or curability, um, you need something that's quite a quick system. So as soon as you put one coat on, you're onto the second coat because the first coat's dried in already. So you tiptoe around the edges and you put where it's dry and then start the second coat. And you can do this all day long, to be honest with you. We're going to spend two days sealing this because you know this is a high spec job. You price it in to take two days. Normally I'd do it in one day, but uh, we, we want it right so we're taking our time, there's no, there's no rushing, there's no, uh, there's, no, there's no way we're going to upset the job at this stage, we want everything perfect. So we can get more, you know, nine coats is usually enough, but on this occasion we've got 12 coats. We've done a water test yesterday, left it on after 12 coats, no visibility of any uh, moisture penetration getting into the terracotta, and uh, it looked good. So 12 coats is the maximum. After, if you go past 12 coats on terracotta, it can go, it can go patchy, it can go sticky, it can go very, 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 very shiny, which uh, some people might not like. And also, it, it, I don't find the settles to be honest with you. So this is this is a good, uh, this is a good finish. On to Pierre. So guess what? It's the big moment. I've just carried tables in, put tablecloths on. You can see the the restaurant starting to take shape. It looks great, so much better than what it was. Um, the light here is quite bad, so you cannot really truly see the floor. Um, but it's so much better than what it was before. Ain't that true, Russell? 99.9% .9 better. I never say 100%. But yeah, it's good. Great. I'll show you this bit.